Who's ready for ResGen Men's Summit 2022? Yeah. When we seek to exhibit the fruits of the Spirit in every area of our lives, we're gonna be better husbands. We're gonna be more engaged dads. We're gonna be more compassionate neighbors, friends, students, bosses, and community leaders. And that, my brothers, is exactly what our world needs and what today is all about. I think the issue with us a lot of men is we always want to be okay. We feel like we have to be okay or need to be okay. We feel like we have to show people the great sides of us and not show them the other sides of us. And God says it's okay not to be okay. It's nice to see you. The real you. The whole you. When I love meeting new people, it's so fun. I only have one pet peeve. It's when somebody sees me like on a poster, I'm at an event, and tell me, there's always one person comes up to me at the event before it happens. They go, hey, you the comedian? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm the comedian. They go, tell me a joke. We are never more like Jesus than when we forgive. Guys, if we're gonna call ourselves Christians, call ourselves Christians, and we are supposed to be Christ-like, we can never be more Christ-like than when we make the decision to forgive someone else. What temperature are you setting in the rooms that you enter? As you come down the stairs in your home, as you walk into your office building, as you walk down the hallways of your campuses, what temperature are you setting? Are you, are you enhancing the climate? Or are you doing the opposite? And what if we said, for the sake of our own lives, for the sake of the vision God wants to have that's in front of us, for the sake of our families, for the sake of our kids, for the sake of our grandkids, for the sake of the generations that are coming after us, we're going to invite God into the process of dealing with what's going on inside of us, of turning down the noise low enough and long enough to be ruthlessly curious of what's really going on inside of us. It's the way God wants us to live.